Hello and welcome. Again, we are here with a new case of linear correlation. And once again, we are going to discuss the effect of change of origin as well as scale. Change of origin means to add to or uh, uh, take a constant value and add to or subtract from the original value of the variable. Similarly, change of scale means to multiply a constant value to the original values of the variable. And we know that the important characteristic of coefficient of correlation is the coefficient of correlation is independent of change of origin and scale. That means there will be no effect on the final answer of coefficient of correlation if we add or subtract any constant value to or from the original data and if we multiply or divide the original data by any constant value. Now we have the data as mixture of integer and decimal values. So if again we ignore the use of calculator at the earlier stage, the say job of working with this type of data is not quite easy. Particularly for the students who are not allowed the use of calculator. So it is advisable to use the characteristic of change of origin and scale and to make the values smooth. It is not necessary every time we use the change of scale and or change of origin to make the greater values possibly smaller and to use them for calculation. We can make the smaller value so greater that we can easily use them for the purpose of calculation. We are going to do that in this case. In case of x, the mean is 2.2 which is directly in matching with the original values with one decimal value and similarly y bar is 3.6 which is also in direct say matching with the original values in with one decimal value. So we are going to use the arithmetic means as our assumed means. So we will subtract 2.2 from all values of x as a change of origin and we will subtract 3.6 from all values of variable y as change of origin. And since we have one decimal value, we are going to multiply it with a one with single zero. If there is single decimal value 0 0.1, 0 0.2, 0 0.3 and so on, then we have to multiply the value by 10. 10 means 1 with single zero. Number of zeros with 1 is directly dependent on the values after decimal point. If there are two values, then we have to multiply it with 1 with two zeros. That means multiply 100. If there are three decimal places, then we have to multiply it by 1000. That means 1 with three zeros and so on. So, there is only single decimal value. In the deviations also there will be only single decimal value. So we are going to multiply it with 10 or 1 with single 0. So u is x minus 2.2 into 10. Y is rather v is y minus 3.6 into 10. It is something like y into 10 minus 12, x into 10 minus 2.2, y into 10 minus 36. As a result, we get u and v. The summation of them are 0 because in the name of arithmetic mean, we have actually subtracted original means and we know that the sum of or total of the deviations taken from arithmetic mean is always 0. That is 0. The proof is value of negative and positive deviations are same. Multiplication of u and v give us uv minus 2 into 18, that is minus 36, 18 into minus 27, minus 486 and so on. Ultimately, we get the total minus 468. The accounting is here. U square, that means squared values of all the values of U individually and summation is 896. Similarly, V square, that means squared values of all the values of variable V and summation is 2106. Now we can substitute all these five summations in our formula and get the value of coefficient of correlation. And again my favorite formula and sigma xy minus sigma x into sigma y upon under root n into 
sigma u square minus sigma u the whole square into under root n sigma v square minus sigma v the whole square. This is v. Let us substitute the values. n is 5, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 5 into sigma u v minus 468. Minus sigma u is 0 as well as sigma v is also 0 into under root. 5 into sigma u square that is 896 minus 0 square because sigma u is 0 into under root n sigma v square n is 5 sigma v square is 2106 and minus 0 square because sigma v is also 0. So now we can simplify 5 into minus 468 comes to minus 2340 minus 0 into 0 is 0 upon under root. 5 into 896 minus 0 square. 0 square is 0. 5 into 896 comes to 4480 minus 0 means it will remain the same. Similarly, 5 into 2106 minus 0 square is 0. 10530 minus 0. So ultimately it is minus 2340 upon under root. Summation or rather sorry product of these two is 4171744400 like this and its square root is 6868.32362 no, sorry 362 so ultimately the coefficient of correlation comes to minus 0 0.341 approximately negative value that means there is negative correlation between the two variables that means more or less the direction of change in the values of x and y is opposite to each other and the value is only 0 0.341 that means partially negative correlation very low degree because it is less than 0.5 so low degree partially co negative correlation between the two variables that is the ultimate interpretation that's it thank you very much